Hi, my name is Garth, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, what Shopify apps do I need? So the first thing you do when you've got a, a Shopify store is um, you'll want to put an app in there because there's so much more you can do when you've got a, um, an app to put into the store. So the thing is though, there's so many of them, which ones are you going to use? Now, the thing is different stores require different apps and you can get a list of like the 10 best apps to do, but it may not, it no, may not be the best for your store. So I suggest what you do is, is what I did and a lot of other people do is you try out apps and see if they're right for your store. Uh, this takes time and I suggest only one app at a time. I wouldn't suggest installing lots and then trying to work it out. Just go with one app at a time when you install. So, but there is a couple of apps that I use always when I set up new stores. So the first one is called FOMO and we'll have a quick look at this one. And this is for social proof. It used to be called Notify. And um, basically what this does is um, it puts up little tiny notifications uh, that appear on, on the page and and it tells every time there's a sale. So for example, let's say an order's placed, then it will pop up and say that this was an order placed um, at this particular place, like what product it was that sold. And um, it, it ba and basically it gives proof that there's sales that are happening to real customers and you can change the configuration and um, do it at different times and intervals and, and also you can choose the different uh, displays and, on what it does. But essentially, uh, once you've got some sales coming in the store and you have this and it rotates, let's say every 15 or 30 seconds, people come to your store and they'll see this and they go, oh, okay, yep, these sales happening on this store. Yep, okay, yep, this is real. This is a real deal. And that's, that's the idea of the social proof. It's not like they're coming to the store and no one's buying anything. So that's um, something important. All right, so that's FOMO. Strongly suggest that one. Next one we're going to look at is Hurify. And this is to do with scarcity. So we use this one. This What this one does is it has configurable uh, countdown timers and all different types of settings. So this, this is like an example of what they look like. It also does restarts. It's responsive. It's on mobile. And you can set it up for different products or even different categories. It's it's pretty amazing app. So you can do it. And it's basically for when you have, um, you're running special campaigns or you got special pricing. But basically, um, people, if people have all the time in the world to buy something, they're not going to do it. But if they've got something that's counting down in front of them, even if it's it ends tomorrow, people go, okay, this is not going to last forever. And that's the importance of having scarcity in your store. So strongly recommend that. All right, so let's have a look at some of the other options. If you're doing a print-on-demand on your Shopify store, have a look at these three apps. These are the top three apps. Uh, two of them I can talk about because I've used. I haven't used Printify, but let's go through Printful. So this one first. Printful, as you can see, lots of reviews. It would be the top dog in all of the, the apps for, I, I would say, for the one that's most used and also the most options. And it's the most um, advanced, I believe, uh, platform in terms of integrating with Shopify with the most options and most amount of products. The only downside, uh, which I've talked about before, is the pricing. So with all the good things, uh, it's more expensive and you've got less margins, but it's pretty good. So that's Printful. T-Launch. Uh, a bit cheaper and it has less products um, and less sort of integration, but it works very well as well. And uh, I can recommend that one. Uh, they've um, come a long way and they've been around for a while now, 174 reviews. So check out that if you're doing t-shirts. This is the one I haven't tried yet, which I'll be keen to try out. Uh, so this is Printify and uh, we'll have a quick look at that one now. It's got 242 reviews and uh, there's some actually good reviews on there for that uh, for that product. So And they do more than just t-shirts. They do uh, phone cases and mugs. So they've got more uh, print-on-demand products. So they have said that they have updated that app. So it'd be, I'll, I might do another video on that one just to see um, what that one's all about. 
That looks interesting. I can't comment on pricing at the moment because I haven't seen that one, but it is popular. So that's a printing on demand. Uh, moving on to another popular one is drop shipping. So with drop shipping, uh, Obolo is one that I've I've used before and it works extremely well. Obolo currently works on AliExpress and um, it's it's pretty seamless. You essentially can import products, um, make all the changes you need to do, and then when a sale happens, uh, you can similarly basically it's like it's not totally automated, but it, it will go through and put all the the order in place, and all you do is click order, and then uh, when the when it actually gets shipped, all that information comes back. So it's it's a pretty amazing app, and it's had a lot of people use it, a lot of users. Uh, it's it's pretty robust. It's pretty amazing. These two other ones I haven't used yet, but I'll get some more information on them. Um, they're, they're from the same developer, Expressify and Portify. So Expressify, um, what, let's have a quick look at them. Uh, actually, we'll have a look at Obelo, Obelo first and so you can get, see what it looks like. And essentially, um, that's you'll see that's uh, how you can import their products. It's got a little Chrome extension that you do, and it only works on AliExpress. So that's something to um, remember. But now the only th the good thing about this, it's had eighteen thousand shops connected to it, and they've processed one hundred and twenty million dollars in sales since twenty fifteen. So they've they've definitely been doing a long time. Nine hundred and thirty three re reviews. Very good app. So let's have a look at Expressify, and this one. 105 reviews and that's the developer and from memory this one is yeah from AliExpress and also imports the reviews as well and customer feedback and then I think the developer uh, went on to do a new one which I'm keen to try out Importify and this one will do AliExpress, Amazon, eBay, DH, Alibaba, Etsy, a whole bunch of them even including Walmart as well. So I wouldn't mind trying that just to see. And literally, it is from from the videos I've seen, it's literally one click. If any of you have used this one, please comment below and, and let me know what you think of it. Uh, and also, if you've used Obelo, that would be great too. Yeah, if you have any um, questions about this, drop them in the, the comments below as well. All right, so I think we've covered those aspects there. And uh, that about, about covers it. Um, there is plenty of apps out there. There's so many of them you can choose. But honestly, the, the best thing you do is try out the apps for yourself. Um, take your time and do, do them one at a time because it can they can actually cause conflicts. But what I've, what I've found with the apps is they'll say something about the apps being really good for your store. This does that and does that. Use the free trial. Try them out. And if they don't produce or you can't make them work properly or any problems that, that happened during that trial period, you d don't continue with that product because I can, I can tell you right now, there's so many crappy apps out there and even some of the big companies, are, they, just, they just produce crap. And especially like mobile, when you're, on, you're running uh, mobile ads or Facebook ads to mobile and some of these products or some of these apps do not work at all on mobile. And honestly, I, I don't even know uh, why people would use them because mobile is, is, is where you get a lot of sales. So just remember, try them out and uh, take them one step at a time. Make sure they make money for you. And if they don't make money for you, get rid of them. Uh, so that about covers it. I'll probably cover some more apps, but that should be for the, for the time being. If you have any questions, drop them down below and uh, I will do my best to help you out. And if you use any of these apps yourself, please comment below too and let me know about your experiences so that um, that I can, uh, yeah, find out some of the information from what you guys have got. So that would be great to get some feedback. Okay, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.